Hi everyone, this is uh, Michael from Porsche Centre Calgary here with one of our brand new in-stock 2024 Porsche Cayennes. Uh, now for 2024, the model year, uh, the Cayenne has been revamped. So this is the refresh of the, of the current model. Um, side profile on the car hasn't really changed that much. You'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between a 2023 and a 2024. A um, lot of differences underneath the car that you can't see. Uh, and certainly inside the car as well, which we'll run through in a little bit. The front of the car is definitely a little bit more squared off. It, to me, it looks a little bit more aggressive. The light shape has changed ever so slightly. They're not curved as much anymore. You've got this nice sort of squared off line here again, adding to the aggressive front end of the car. And it does actually sit a little bit higher. Um, it's only fractional, it's about 17 millimeters, but the impression I think with what they've done on the front end makes the car appear to sit a little bit higher and have a little bit more ground clearance. Um, as I mentioned, the side profile of the car has stayed pretty much the same. There are some changes on the back end of the car. The rear light bar has changed. It's now just one continuous uh, unit. It's tidied up the back of the car and they've moved the license plate from being quite high up on the tail lid down to much lower down. So again, I think it cleans up the, uh, the back end of the car. Uh, lots of updates uh, on the car for 2024. Uh, this is the 3 litre V6, so our entry level engine, but it does get a little bit more power. So it's up 13 horsepower. So now we're developing just under 350 brake horsepower. Um, and although it's only a small number that it's increased by, the car does drive really differently. I was recently with Porsche down in Chicago, learning about the car and driving the car. And all of us commented that even though there's only been a small increase on the brake horsepower of the base engine, the drive of the car feels like it got a much bigger increase. So uh, that's a, a really good selling feature in my mind. Um, in addition to the extra horsepower, the car now has a host of uh, standard features which weren't on the previous car. So you get uh, PASM or Porsche's active suspension management makes a huge ride, uh, difference in terms of the ride quality. Again, uh, when we were driving the car, it was one of the things that really stood out. The car is way more compliant on the road. It's able to soak up bumps a little bit better. It can definitely react to what's going on underneath the car far quicker and gives you a much more pleasant ride in the cabin. Uh, headlights have been updated. So now all the cars come with a matrix LED headlight, a much brighter headlight system, obviously great for driving at night. Auto dimming mirrors are now standard on the car. Lane keep assist is standard on the car, as is power steering plus. So you get a little bit of a lighter feel on the car at slow speeds to help with maneuverability and especially parking and, and tight spots. Um, in addition to those standard upgrades, this one has the premium, uh, the premium pack. So that's gonna give you the big panoramic roof, which everyone likes, the Bose sound system, heated seats both in the front and rear. A heated steering wheel is standard on the car. Uh, you get adaptive cruise control with pre-collision alert and you get the 14-way seats with memory on both driver and passenger side. Uh, this car has also got the 21-inch exclusive design wheels in silver, which tie in really nicely with the roof rails in the silver trim and the window surrounds in silver trim. Um, underdoor light projectors on this guy and it's also got a heated windshield. Um, some of the other big differences, which you'll see maybe on some of the other photos later on, if you click through the car, are definitely on the inside. So the car has gone away from an analog uh, tack. So now the whole dash on the car is fully digital, um, a much cleaner look. You've got a slightly larger center display. And then down in the center console where the gear lever was on the previous generation car, they've done away with the gear lever there and moved it up just behind the steering wheel, uh, which is the same as on our current Taycan model, if you're familiar with that. So it's very much tidied up the center console and just left it a little cleaner uh, for, the, for the air conditioning and the heated seats, etc. The car, they've made some really nice changes to it. As I said, very impressed with the ride, very impressed with the engine. And I think most people will really like the interior because it is a little bit more seamless. Um, this is one of our first available cars for the model year 2024. It's in stock. We'd love to chat with you more about it. So come down and see us and, uh, and we can show you through the car in a bit more detail.